George Wagner stands accused of helping to kill eight members of the tightly knit Roden family. George's father, mother, and brother also indicted for the murders. The alleged motive? Jake's desire to gain permanent custody of his three-year-old daughter from her mother, Hannah Roden, who was Jake's former girlfriend and one of the eight killed in what will become Ohio's largest homicide investigation, amounting to 5,000 pieces of evidence. The Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation used nearly every tool in its investigative arsenal to figure out what happened on that tragic spring day on Union Hill Road. How is it that four individuals plot and conspire and execute eight individuals? Um, it kind of starts with a love story. A very young teenage girl, Hannah Mae Roden, age 13 at the time, was at the Pike County Fairgrounds. Uh, somebody introduced her to Jacob, who was almost 18 at that time. And she tried to engage him in some type of small talk and to hear Jake tell it, he wasn't really interested at first, but then she was pretty persistent. And so uh, they developed this relationship. A few years later, when Hannah Mae's 15, she becomes pregnant and they start living together, really. And then the little girl is born. Hannah Mae Roden wasn't officially Jake Wagner's wife, but giving birth to his daughter brought her into the Wagner household. The Wagner family had lived in the Appalachian foothills for decades, and their close ties forged an almost communal lifestyle. Billy Wagner was married to Angela Wagner, and they had two sons. George was the oldest, and then Jake was the youngest. One night, George Wagner and his wife, Tabitha, get into an argument. She ends up fleeing the house. She wants a divorce, and George somehow convinces her to sign documents that say he will have sole custody of their son, but she will be permitted to visit when she asks to do so. Eventually, Hannah Mae leaves Jake in early 2015. She calls her father, asks for him to come get her. She just could not handle the controlling nature of not just Jake, but also the family. They would want her to call Angela mom, even when Hannah Mae was sitting right there. Hannah Mae Roden went her own way, dating and even getting pregnant with a new boyfriend. Then in early 2016, with Hannah and Jake sharing equal custody of their daughter, Angela Wagner suddenly raised an issue. A suspicious diaper rash, Angela said, indicated sexual abuse at the hands of the rodents. Though unfounded with no real proof, Angela shared those fears of abuse with husband Billy and son Jake. Angela Wagner was using this belief that the child was being molested to really go to her husband. She kept going to Billy to present this concern. And this is what led to the murder plans. So according to the prosecution, the Wagners, Angela, Billy, Jake, and George, all came up with this plan to murder the rodent so they could have sole custody of the child and prevent other family members from retaliating. Four years after his arrest, George Wagner's trial finally begins on September 12th, 2022. In fact, with brother Jake and mother Angela taking plea deals, George was the first Wagner to go to trial. His father, Billy Wagner, has been indicted and pled not guilty. His trial is yet to happen. George Wagner IV has to convince the jury that he is not a murderer, that he's not like his mother and brother who've already admitted to this. Now that you know Jake has pled guilty, what do you think of him? I just am ashamed to know that my family would do something like this. I really don't even like calling him my brother anymore. Who are the rodents? Friends of mine. And how did you become friends with them? Started out, they leased our farm to deer hunt on. They were normal people to me. You like them? Dislike yes. them? Yes, I like them. Did you like having Hannah around? Yes. She was like a baby sister to me. What about between her and Jake? Got to where they fought and argued a lot. What was your understanding of the reason for going up to Alaska after the murders? The original was to get 
away from everything. You ended your vacation? Yes. What did you do? Drove back. Now something happened in Montana, right? Yes, we were interrogated there. What was your reaction? I was emotionally distraught that they would accuse my family. And you heard your brother come in here and testify that you were part of the place. Yes, I heard that. Is that true? No. Did you help him in any way? No. On the witness stand, Jake Wagner testified that George Wagner went out to the barn with him, that he got dressed in all of the clothes that they had purchased, then the sneakers, that he had a black ski mask on, he climbed into the bed of the truck, and that he was along for the ride. George Wagner IV, under oath, testifies that he didn't have any idea that anything had happened. So all this time that you act like you could barely stand your family, you actually very much were together with them. Moved to Alaska with them, moved to Missouri with them, moved to Ohio with them. Yeah. Yesterday, you were talking about Jake as if you hardly even liked him. From early childhood, it wasn't that bad. But the older we got, the worse he got. In July of 2018, you were talking to your mother on the phone when you said that you wanted your own little farm somewhere out west and where me and Jake can live peacefully with you and the kids. It doesn't mean live in the same house. It means everybody had their own house on a different side of the piece of property. I'm just trying to figure out what the truth is. There is nothing in his history that paints him as an outsider. He's always lived with this family. I mean, through his whole adult life. He didn't leave when he turned 18. He didn't go out and get his own apartment. He stayed with his family. He has always worked with his family. So again, the truth is in his conduct. The prosecution on cross-examination is really trying to use George Wagner the Force's own words against him to show that he says something much different on the witness stand than he did in the past. You'd just been interrogated, completely surprised, wasn't expecting to see BCI at the border, right? Yeah. And you're confronted for four hours with pictures of bloody shoe prints, picture of your mom purchasing the shoes, yeah. ballistic evidence. You get out to the vehicle. Your mom and your dad are already there. Yeah. And at no time do you say, what in the heck is going on? They think we did this. You don't say that. Sitting there with your mother and father, and you didn't say a word about what had just happened. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? Yes. Yeah. All right. Would the four person please hand the verdict forms to the bailiff here? Whatever the verdict may be, it was going to be an all or nothing. He would either be acquitted of all charges or he would be convicted of all the charges. Verdict as to count one, it says, we the jury find beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant, George Washington Wagner IV, is guilty of aggravated murder as charged in count one of the indictment. We the jury find beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant, George Washington Wagner IV, is guilty of aggravated murder as charged in count two Sometimes people think that system doesn't work. The system works. George Wagner IV was found guilty of 22 charges, including eight aggravated murder counts for the deaths of the Roden family. He'll serve eight life sentences without the possibility of parole, and those sentences will be served consecutively. He also got an additional 121 years for the other charges. Jake Wagner will also serve multiple life terms. Angela Wagner's plea bargain got her a 30-year sentence. Billy Wagner's trial for the Roden murders is set for 2024. He's pled not guilty to all charges.